Hello guys, welcome to another edition of this Do Yourselfer channel. Today I'm gonna be installing a brand new base for a vacuum cleaner. This is a commercial grade uh, Eureka uh, upright uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. So I got the base uh, from John Don. These guys are really good. Uh, very good customer service. This is the part number ES-534743-EA. And uh, yeah, the base broke on my uh, vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna be putting a brand new base. I got everything on the old one and this box all stacked together and my uh, goal today is gonna be to put everything together back again to make it look like new or to work like new <laughs> either one now in the process I also ordered this this part I don't think you're gonna need this this uh, it's the base of the uh, handle it broke it won't it won't stay uh, still like the way it's supposed to be is missing a spring and I just ordered a new one I'm gonna install it okay so I'm gonna begin by putting all the things out and trying to clean them um, so that way I can install it all right okay so I got everything in here I got the uh, bolts and everything this is the base so I'm gonna begin by turning the base down and I want to put the back wheels first it's got two washers in here make sure they go all the way to the edges and that's how this thing goes that's so that way to prevent to touch the uh, face see okay so here's the washers all right and install it right there all right guys so the most common uh, tool used in here is a t20 is the most uh, common uh, used so we're gonna begin by putting the uh, the wheel holders in place right there is one the ones that it has the uh, screw bolting they go on the wheels in the front so let's get it on all right so they fell on me Make sure that doesn't happen to you. All right. There goes one. Second one. So I'm installing the second one. Bingo. I got the wheels, the front wheels done. I mean the back wheels done. Now we're gonna proceed to install the wheels on the front.
these wheels they go on the other side like this all right make sure the spring is on the right side and all right so you gotta kind of push the wheels through the holes it's a little tight and they fell like that all right Now, I want you to pay attention to this little notch. Not this one, but that one right next to it. And that's where the spring goes. That's where the spring for the wheel goes, all right? That makes it go up and down. Fantastic. So now we're gonna put the little plates However, however, before putting the plates, these little uh, holders, we gotta make sure we put these uh, plates in here. This is like dust covers, I assume. All right. And then we put this in place. This little screw is to hold the uh, By putting these bolts, you're creating the, tre the threads on the plastic. They're not pre-threaded. It's like you're fabricating that, okay? And same thing goes for the other side. I will right, put the plate. All right, I'll be right. All right, guys. So as I said, we're gonna put the uh, the other side, the other wheel in place. Try to screw it in with your fingers first. It will get tight. Like I said, this is not threaded. You're making the thread. All right, however, I forgot the uh, plate on this side. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on there. You must not forget things, but I did. So anyway, just gonna put it in here. wrong in here I gotta figure out how to how this thing goes I have to push it in a little bit because it's not fitting in the hole for some reason yeah so it, by putting it under it went perfectly
All right. So this thing went under, and it went perfectly. This one is on top. It doesn't really matter. It's just to cover the stuff. And we got the wheels. All right. The spring. It's working. And we got everything. All right. So let's continue with. It. Okay, guys. So we're turning the. Uh, base the base back uh, backwards like looking it through the back and uh, we're going to install the the base for the handle this is what I was talking about you see that spring well this one for some reason it didn't have it or was missing I don't know what the... anyway so this is, is what it goes in here all right but before I put in this in here, this is, this is very important. Uh, I want you to take a look at these holes right here. All right. And uh, they're square. And this too, they're round. And that's for a reason. Okay. What is the reason? The ones they have the square hole. He uses these bolts, the one that it has a square on the base. And on the other ones, they use this regular two uh, small uh, bolts. Also, we have to remember that when putting the uh, handle base, this little piece of cardboard, it goes on the two front bolts. What is that for? No idea, but we're gonna put it on it. <laughs> no, just kidding, it has to be a cover. Also, the ground, it's mounted to the back of this bolt. So let's just not forget all that, all right? So let's get it done. All right. So I'm gonna get down to get closer with my camera now this is probably one of the hardest things of uh, this because of the uh, installation because we gotta put the uh, bolt to this hole on the bottom and we gotta make sure that we get it on the hole that's probably the hardest thing to do as far as the installation, believe me. Everything else, it's quite simple. So I'm gonna have to stand up, get my hands, and try to, try to find the hole. All right, you can try from either front or the back. You can put both hands on either side, like I'm doing it right now, and push it through the hole. See, now we got it under. We're gonna put it. This one, it doesn't use anything. I mean, it doesn't have anything connected to it. So now I'm gonna go for the other side. And this one, we have to get it through this part of the, uh, or this side of the uh, base, okay? Got it. Make sure we got it all the way through. Remember, it has a square on it. Once you get it all the way through, I'm gonna put the cardboard. Cardboard in here and the bolt. I mean the nut. Once you get the nut right there in place, you've got it made. All right, but it's under. Okay. Now we're gonna get these two other bolts in place 
I'm gonna get the front first. Make sure the cardboard is in there. Okay. Gonna reach the tool. Beautiful. Now let's get the one with the ground. Perfect. Oh yes. Oh yeah. This is this is taking place. You see this little notch right here? Well, that's where the ground goes. All right, just like that. All right, it's taking. We're getting there. You know, we're gonna get a our vacuum cleaner up and running again, like new. I hope. Okay guys, so we're gonna install this little foot releaser or, or handle release. This is this is so that way you put the, whenever you put the or you press this with your feet, you can move this down. And I want you to see closely that notch that it has. This thing has to be like that. So what you do is you insert it like that first. And then it goes down that notch it has to match that right there and then you put it in okay so this thing moves front back front back and and then um, obviously this it uses this uh, 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 spring that it goes uh, from here all the way down and uh, that puts put tension on this so that way um, so that way you, uh, so that way this leveler can be at that position. Only when you press it with your feet, you will disengage it. So, um, so by going, you see that little square right here? Okay. So I'm gonna stick uh, this spring through there, through there, and. Uh, Probably gonna get it with the uh, some pliers and uh, push it this way. Right? So <sighs> let me do it. All right. So I grabbed this thing with a uh, with a needle nose and you just push it and try to grab it right there and put it on that notch. Let's see, that's how the spring goes. Let me show you through the bottom. And that's where it attaches right there. See, right in here. Right in here. It's right here. And it goes through that little square. Now, with your feet, you can push this, as you can see, and uh, it dis it disengage. And you can push this thing down and we got it we got that we got all this part together now all we have to do is install the motor and and uh and that's it all right okay guys so the new base vacuum base it comes without the uh, bumper, the plastic bumper. So we have to remove it. And uh, right now I'm removing it with the uh, putty knife. It's the sharp place. This thing is just attaches. And all you have to do is just try to take it out and bring it like that. I gotta clean up a little bit. And once you clean it, we have to install it on the new one before putting the motor because it's easier okay so we can turn our base face down and we can do the same right here it goes right up in here just like that now we gotta 
stick it to uh, the way it goes. It has a little lip, the base, and it has a uh, channel so that way you can bring this in. Gotta kind of push it. bring it in so I got the bumper okay this is just uh, to reduce her so that way you don't make any damage to walls and stuff like that all right it's not needed but it's important that you put it back so that way you prevent that now we're ready to install the motor um, this thing is is the, the one that it goes uh, on top and this is the one that it controls the uh, how high it is or how high you want it from the floor so let's get going with the uh, motor okay so I got the motor right here I previously cleaned this a little bit that's where the dust has a tendency to accumulate make sure you clean it with a putty knife or something. Now this motor it comes with a little gasket and you gotta make sure you put it on it. Um, I didn't get a new gasket but this one it's not torn apart so I'm just gonna kinda follow the path in which it was. It's a little bit loose though and trying to hold it holding it like that we're gonna install the motor right where it belongs right where it belongs so yeah you got the you got the whole thing hanging there and uh, just put this like this the gasket is kind of messed up there But I think I got it on there. I'm just gonna make sure the gasket is in there. And apparently it is. Okay. So now we are ready to install the uh, bolts. There's four bolts. Okay. Using our precious tool, I need to figure out. This light is still kind of dim in here. Okay, it wasn't quite in the hole. Just make sure we put it on the hole. Careful not to over tighten this. Um, you can break it. So Just got one more and I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so we got the whole motor in place. Now it's time to put the cover. So before uh, installing the uh, cover back on, Let's think together we have to tighten at these screws. 
Otherwise, the whole thing will be messed up. All right. All right. And we got to go. All right. So let's get going. The cover, it's some quite easy. All we have to do is make sure the cables are not in your way. And the cover just lays like that. As you can see, there's something in here that I don't like. I don't know what is it. It's probably the wires and the cables. So Make sure you don't have the wires and cables laying around there. You see? Now it seems more doable. Okay. So once you put the cover like that by hand, you gotta turn it, turn it around. Okay. All right. And here comes the foam part. All right. You see these two slots in here? Well, each one of them it has a, a slot so that way you can put this inside, grab it, and then bring it over here and attach it to this place. You do this with a good uh, uh, needle nose. So, I don't know if the camera is going to capture that, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to put it together closer. And, okay, I got it attached. And I'm going to bring it. I'll bring it over here. And I was not successful the first time, but the second time I'll try. Bingo. This is what I'm talk talking about. Okay. Same thing on the other side. It has a notch. I don't know if you can see the camera, I will not capture it, but it has a notch. I wish. Yeah, there you go. Now you can bring it back. And we've got the cover back on. I'm gonna clean this a little bit before installing this knob. Just uh, by installing this knob, you gotta pick it up, move the wheel, and throw this thing on, and boom, put the uh, uh, bolt. Where is it? It was here a minute ago, and I don't see it anymore. That's a bummer. Now, uh, I made a little mistake and those mistakes are costly <laughs> but I forgot to put one of the uh, inlets back in and it needs it otherwise a lot of dust will accumulate so I'm gonna uh, take it apart again and then put it back you already know how to do this now the uh the handle tube it comes in two pieces so um, this slot it's needed for um, that other piece of plastic over there that uh, it is for um, the, to put the wire connected to there put the tube in the same direction as um, the other piece of handle it's gonna go uh, just like this all right so this is the same direction I got this and we're gonna put the thing on the bottom and uh, we got it now I'm gonna wait for the bolts to get here and put it all together and test it out and and uh, and uh, we just uh, put uh, one uh, vacuum cleaner all together from scratch guys Okay.